So I'm starting off this style on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. And I'm gonna be moisturizing my hair using the LCO method. So for my L, I'm simply just using my Kinky Curly um, Leave-In Mix. And that has um, some oils that I like as well as some um, aloe vera juice. For my C, I'll be using Soul Tanicals, not butter. And this is my first time using this product and I really love how it feels on my hair and it smells amazing. I really like it. And lastly for my O, which is a sealant oil, I'll be using Jamaican black castor oil. And this oil is very thick if you're familiar with it, so a little bit does go a long way. You don't want to put too much and run the rest of your hair feeling very clammy. So once I've moisturized, I'm just going to twist it up and clip it out of the way to start styling my hair. I've already installed a few of the perm rods and I didn't mention earlier but I'll be using Jane Carter Solutions Wrap and Roll um, Setting Foam just to give my hair a little bit of a hole, not too much you know to make it too crunchy. And you want to make sure that your hair is really detangled just so that the rollers go on nice and smooth. And this is not something that I got right away on my first try as you can see and I was a little bit frustrated but if that happens just keep trying until you get it because it will you will eventually get it so to further explain my process again um, I take each section and I divide it into smaller sections and I make sure it's thoroughly detangled and I usually go through a few times with my demo brush as well as my uh, fine tooth comb and also make sure that you put some type of setting if it's a gel something for hold if you want the curls to hold up a bit better so I take the rod and I wrap the ends of my hair around itself about just two or three times to make sure it's secure and then I wrap it up the rod like in a spiral motion so that way that the curls fall in a spiral motion. Joy for the last, last rod going in. So after I finished this set, I just sat under my hooded dryer for about 30 to 45 minutes, nothing too long, just enough to take the dampness off. Once that was done, I slept with the perm rods in overnight. Now for the takedown, so I just simply coated my hands in some oil. I use extra virgin olive oil, you can use any oil of your choice to help reduce the frizz. With this step, you really want to take your time and take the rods out. You don't want to disturb the curl and, you know, get it very frizzy and fuzzy. Just devote some time to taking it out patiently. Once I had all of the rollers out, I went through curl by curl and I began to separate. And to separate, I simply just split it. I tried to find the area where the hair naturally wanted to come apart and just twirled it around my finger to keep the curl pattern. you 
separate the more volume you have so if you want tighter curls don't separate as much if you want more volume and bigger hair separate as much as you would like to I personally love the big hair so after I separated I just went in with my pick and I fluffed out my roots to separate any little parts and to also just raise it and give my hair more volume. This step is optional, it's just how I chose to style my hair. So using my ball bristle brush and some large hair pins, I just simply did a little mohawk by brushing up this each side of my hair and pinning it back. Once that step was done, I simply went through and I curled some more sections. I separated a little bit more and I shaped my hair to how I wanted it to be. Do you see the curls up beside there? Yeah. Dripping. And this is the completed look. <laughs> 